Happy Whiskey Wednesday, everyone. This is Savor at Home number 68. And tonight what I am trying is something that I just picked up. I feel like I say that every single week. Uh, this is Springbank 17 year Madeira cask. So I'm a huge fan of Springbank and have been waiting for this to make it to the US. It's a Campbelltown single malt. Um, so it's from the Campbelltown region of Scotland. And Springbank has three different uh, kind of labels that fall underneath the distillery. Their Springbank label, is distilled two and a half times, or what they call two and a half times. Essentially what they're doing is they are recycling in some of the heads and or tails back in for essentially a triple distillation. So they're recycling in some of the spirit. This is common practice for a lot of different distilleries because that way you can either extract more flavors uh, and or extract more ethanol, which um, is I think usually uh, the main goal there, right? You want as much bang for your buck as you can get. Um, so recycling that stuff back into uh, other distillations really helps. Anyways, uh, for this bottling, as you would imagine, there's some Madeira involved. But for the first 14 years, this whiskey is aged in a combination of ex-bourbon and ex-rum barrels. And then it is finished for three years in fresh Madeira hogshead. So hogshead are a little bit bigger than barrels. This was distilled in November. 2002 and then bottled in October 2020. So this is brand new essentially um, and just made it to the U.S. There were only 9,200 bottles uh, produced and I feel very, very lucky to have uh, gotten one of them. Uh, anyways, this is 47.8% ABV and we should dive right in. I think I got all the stats that I wanted to get out. So the color on this is very rich. It's like a rich copper. There's a little bit of like a rose gold hue to it, uh, kind of a pink thing to it, definitely coming from the Madeira, but yeah, mostly like a, a rich copper. So immediately, it just hits you with that sweet, sweet oak. Lots of vanilla, lots of caramel, some tropical fruits as well. Maybe some bananas foster. I'm getting some espresso. A little bit of a grape soda thing. Some dried berries, some orange peel. A little bit of like an earthy mulchy thing, but like a, a fresh bag of mulch. The bananas foster has turned into caramelized plantains. Maybe some star anise as well. Oh, that's delicious. Okay, so the mouthfeel is so, so, so silky and warm and my mouth just tucked into silk sheets. Oh, so nice. And then everything that comes forward is almost like it's chocolate covered. So chocolate covered caramel and chocolate covered like dried blueberries. Mm, it's so nice. There's also some uh, cinnamon bark coming through as well, a little bit of clove. So there's that bitterness from the spices and the chocolate, maybe even a little bitter espresso in here as well. But then you have those beautiful sweet notes balancing it out. It has some wonderful roastiness to it. And then it's got some earthiness as well, like grass, but like grass right after it rains, like a beautiful sun shower. There's leather and tobacco and it's very luxurious. And let's go for a third sip. Mm. That's really good. Uh, this is definitely, 
a delicious, delicious whiskey. So if you have the opportunity of uh, picking up a bottle of this, I would greatly suggest it, especially if you're a Springbank fan or a Campbelltown fan. And who's not a Springbank fan or a Campbelltown fan? Let's be honest. Uh, yeah. So, cheers.